Hi y'all, it's your star goddess. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna do a video about dark energy, dark matter again, but I have found some new information. Okay, sorry y'all. So, the information that I stumbled across is actually from Tesla. You know, Nikola, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla, however you wanna say it. Well, he was like one of the first scientists to want to study dark energy and dark matter, but uh, all the other people like called him a kook and a whack and that he was studying metaphysics and not science. And so they weren't gonna take his theory seriously because, you know, gravitation was, you know, what they were studying and they did not wanna study the uh, the darkness and the dark matter that, that uh, Tesla said held everything in place. They didn't want to study that because they had been working so long on gravity and with, um, you know, Einstein and, you know, relativity and all that stuff. So they didn't want to throw all that research away down the garbage on some guy who's talking about stuff they can't see and study because it's metaphysical. So he's like, you know what, I'm going to keep doing my thing. And he came up with all these great inventions and stuff like that. And a lot of them either were stolen or, you know, were like put on the back burner um, and stuff like that. And he was never really taken seriously, but he did accomplish some great things, but they would never let him, you know, with his idea about the ether, that's what he called it, He's, he called it the ether, um, you know, get out to the masses. So basically he's saying that the ether is matter that holds everything in place it's the darkness that you can't see and, and we are mistakenly calling that you know gravitation when it's not so people dismiss them say oh he's studying magic and stuff like that don't worry about it don't listen to him he's not a real scientist but like when he died the federal uh, government rushed his little uh, room apartment because he died broke and stole all his knowledge, notes, notebooks, information. They stole it all, and then like a couple of years later, they come out with with um, the the Tesla coil. They come out with this. They come out with that. You know, he had all the blueprints to a lot of the stuff we're seeing now that's being invented. But they called him a kook. Anyway, so he was basically the first scientist who wanted to study dark matter, and they dismissed him. So he he said the secret of the universe lie in the numbers three six nine three six and nine and so everyone has been trying to work this equation work this equation and figure out the secrets of the universe and they all find it's like sacred geometry the number of degrees and the angles of circles and triangles and all that good stuff and yes they've expounded upon that but if you go and read his notes and what he was really passionate about, it was the ethers. So I, I look up ethers or ether online and you know, there's a chemical called ether. And the chemical makeup of ether is this. Okay, yes. Don't laugh at my Halloween dry erase board. It's all I have. So here is ether on, on paper. Okay. Now, if anyone has taken biology and has done a chemical equation, then y'all understand. Okay, so I, I'm going to show y'all what I did in my notebook, but I, I need to put on my glasses first. And I'm going to show y'all what I have discovered. I don't know if it has already been discovered, but this is what I came across last night, which is very interesting because it's, it's just it. Okay, let me show y'all. Here. So I've done the equation here. So basically you just add up all the numbers under the letters. And so here are the numbers, H, H3, here goes three plus one, which is H3 plus the, uh, sorry, the one carbon. So basically I just took all the numbers and added them up and look at the last three numbers, y'all. Six, three, nine. Six, three, nine. <laughs> that's the numbers you get when you add up the ethers now I'm going to show y'all something else cool but I'll put them um, I have a picture or a meme that I'm going to put at the end of the video so y'all can 
kind of see it already written out and <laughs> y'all can kind of understand it a little bit better and I know a lot of people um, will say that they have seen like all these triple digit numbers and and they don't know what they mean but you know here's just a preview if y'all can see this and if you keep going till nine you'll get the same thing three six nine it'll all break down to three six nine three six nine so the uh, the secret of the universe lie in the number 369 which is the breakdown of the ether okay so that's what they're doing with CERN they're breaking down the dark energy they're breaking down the dark matter to study it to study the universe and what they're saying is this could lead to different dimensions different like time travel different this different that which is metaphysics it's not science and so now that they're studying what Tesla studied or you know theorized now they're saying it's science yeah. so just like they thought the world was flat and then they figured out it was round you know same thing so whenever you whenever I see scientists who I love and appreciate so much I think that they're still limited because they don't open their mind up to the to the metaphysics of it I know if they did they might go too far to the left and not focus on what you know what's what they have now but if they open it just a little bit or let metaphysics be part of the scientific world and kind of let metaphys metaphysicians throw in their two cents every now and then they might get a lot further faster they're holding us back because they don't want to accept what they can't touch but just like hundreds of years ago they couldn't touch a germ until they discovered the micro microscope and then they could see it. Now they want to believe in it, okay? Before they used to um, blame uh, sickness on, on witch, on witches or witchcraft, but now that they can see germs, oh, uh, the germ. So you, you gotta kinda look at people who are the authority in certain situations or scientists or doctors, you gotta kinda look at them with a side eye sometimes because they don't want to kind of accept change they don't want to accept what could be they don't want to accept what probably is they a lot of people who are very spiritual and into metaphysics are mentally ahead of scientists they're just waiting on the scientists to catch up and try to prove it and the whole time they've been trying to tell them but the scientists oh well we need to prove it we need to prove it we need to prove it and so they take another hundred years to try to prove this when we could have already been somewhere if you had just you know taking the theory seriously you know and worked on the notion until you know how they say fake it until you make it <laughs> that's that's where the future lies people are going to have to start taking metaphysics more seriously after you know after they did really discover the ethers then they're going to be combined again it's going to be like alchemy that's what alchemy is it's metaphysics and science chemistry art philosophy mentalism and all that stuff as one they're not going to be separate anymore it's going to be one okay so i just wanted to um do this quick video it's not going to be very long because there's not really much more to put out there than you know what i just kind of went over uh, so if you're working with ethers the dark energy the dark matter in the universe you could kind of shape and mold things to your advantage because you know about it you know the existence of it you acknowledge the you acknowledge the existence of it you're not looking for something it's there right in front of your face um, and Tesla also said that these ethers also are connected to um, what are within us so um, like if y'all want to go read about Tesla and the ethers y'all uh, will get more information than I could ever give you but <laughs> it's very interesting because 
he was so passionate about it and they just totally dismissed him. And, it, and it's pretty sad. That's why uh, you'll see a lot of people who won't touch it. Like, uh, even though they're teaching the same thing, they're not going to touch it. Like, I've already showed y'all this book, like the Vortex, Ether, the Darkness. They won't touch the word, but they'll, in theory, tell you what it is. But they're never going to say this, 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 and that. Darkness, dark energy, ether, unseen, unknown stuff is the stuff we can't figure out. So we're just going to ignore it and hopefully it'll go away. But it won't go away and they can't get any further in space exploration and how the universe works and where the universe started from and what makes the universe expand and what makes it... They can't go anywhere else until they figure out this ether thing this dark energy thing this dark matter thing and basically dark matter ether and dark energy is your consciousness the connected consciousness and it works according to vibration and even Tesla said the universe works in vibrations and frequencies and that is consciousness okay so I'm gonna leave with I mean leave that for you to ponder and hopefully you'll go and research and do some more reading on this ether, this dark energy, this dark matter. And have a better understanding of it. And, you know, it's the month where everyone's co so concerned about CERN and stuff like that. If y'all don't know what CERN is, it's, it's this place in Europe where they're studying dark matter. And they're supposed to come out this month with um, some type of, you know, reveal about something. I don't know. But it could be, this, I don't know what day it could be, but they were speculating late summer, and this is the latest it's going to get in the summer. It's almost fall, so could be around this, um, could be around this week or next week. So um, I, I'm not like, I'm not freaked out about anything because I've already, I already know what dark energy and dark uh, matter is. I know what ether is. I know how to, I know you can use it to open portals and get to different dimensions and create and manifest and stuff and all that. I already know that. That's, they're just going to be telling people, you know, oh, well, we figured out that dark energy is controlled by frequencies. And, you know, they're just going to tell you what you already know. So don't think it's going to be some big surprise. <laughs> It'll be a surprise to people that don't know, but it won't be a surprise to me. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye.